hello everyone so welcome back to my channel so in this video i will teach you um 18 computer keyboard shortcuts you need to know this 2020 so here is the actual tutorial of the 18 shortcut keys to make your computer typing easier so para san ba siya? instead of using your mouse and click left click right click left click right click right click right click to copy and paste or do a command so in here we are going to use your keyboard shortcut keys on and uh, these are 18 so madami rin siya so marami kayong matututunan sa video na ito so kung gusto nyo pong matutunan ang mga shortcut keys na to just keep on watching So the first one is the Control plus A or to highlight the text or the document. So how to do this? Punta lang tayo sa Word and then ipapakita ko sa inyo ang aking on-screen keyboard. Itatype natin yung word na gusto natin. Um, I-highlight. And then what we're gonna do is to uh, click the Control and the letter A. So click Control. Ayan, the CTRL key, hold on. O, so, wag po natin siyang bibitawan. Control, and then to follow is, i-click yung letter A. Again, it's Control plus A. After that, ayan, in just a second, na-highlight na natin yung text or yung word na gusto natin i-highlight. Say, for example, you have five pages. Diba? It would take time sa kaka-scroll mo just to highlight all the text or the paragraphs. So, by just doing this, Control a maha-highlight mo na lahat ng text even if it is 100 pages pa. Um, maha-highlight mo na din po agad siya. Okay, so don't forget, remember natin ang first uh, shortcut key na itinuro ko po sa inyo. It is the Control and then wag bibitawan to follow yung letter A. Control A. Okay. Next one is the Control plus B or make the letter or word bold. So, how to do this? Let's go back to our Microsoft uh, Word. Ayan. We're going to highlight first the word and then click the Control hold on and then click letter B. Again, i-click yung control. Huwag muna natin siyang bibitawan. And then letter B after that, na-bold na natin yung text. Next one is the control C or to copy the word or text. May gusto tayong i-copy. So, using our shortcut key, napakadali lang niya. It's like this. I-highlight yung word, click the control key, and then follow by letter C. Okay, again, it's control and C. After that, copy na natin yung text or yung word na gusto natin i-copy. And then, para ipakita ko sa inyo na nakapit ko talaga siya, let's do the control V, which is to paste the text. If we paste na natin yung word na kinapi natin kanina. Okay. Yung word na kinapin natin kanina is computer. Now, click Ctrl V. And yun, na-paste na natin yung na-copy natin kanina. Okay. Next one is the Ctrl plus X or the cut the text or burahin natin or tanggalin natin yung text. I-highlight natin yung word. And then, click Ctrl. Hold on. And then click X. Again, it's Control plus X. Ayan, natanggal na natin yung word. Next one is the Control V or to undo the last action. So, if, uh, baba, ibabalik natin kasi if ever nakamali tayo, nabura natin yung mga text, nabura natin yung word, gusto natin ibalik dun sa kanina, i-undo natin yung last action, Control V. Okay. 
So, kung makikita nyo, just click control So, balik na agad yung uh, word or yung text na nalit natin sa link. Now, this is the control Y to redo the last action. Uulitin natin yung ginawa natin kanina using the control plus Y. So, ayan, it goes like this. Okay. Control, click the control key plus letter Y or the control Y. Next is the control I or to italicize the text. So, paano ba siya i-italicize? Highlight the word, click control, and then letter I. Again, highlight the text, click control, and then letter I. After that, italicize na natin yung ating text. So, next is the control U or to underline the text. Control plus U. So, how to do this? Ayan, highlight lang. Click control and then click letter U. So, next is control S or to save the document. So, paano natin yung save? Control S. Ayan, so pwede mo nang i-type yung file name na gusto mo sa pagsisave mo ng iyong document. Just click again, Control S. Okay. So, next one is the Control P or to print. Control P or to print. So, pwede na tayo mag-print gamit ang Control plus Control N, which is to create a new document. Okay, so say for example, may nakabukas na tayong word, click mo lang yung Control N para makapagbukas ka ng another word or another document. Yan, so as you can see, meron tayong dalawang word na na-open na. Dahil na-click tayo ng Control N. The more man na mag-click ka ng Control N, more uh, new document ang ma-open natin. So, what's next is control M or to create a new slide. So, here, gagawin ko siya dito sa slides ko in PowerPoint. I will just click the control M. And then, after that, makikita nyo later on na nakapaggawa na tayo ng another slide. So, instead of uh, going up dun sa screen natin and then hanapin yung add slide, yun. Next is control shift and greater than sign which makes the text bigger control shift greater than sign okay so paano ba natin gagawin siya para mapalaki na natin yung text i-highlight natin yung word click control and shift and the greater than sign ma-highlight natin yung text i mean ma uh, enlarge na natin yung letters so yung text mapapalaki na natin Again, it's control, hold on, and then click shift, hold on, and then click the arrow, or the greater than sign. So, the more na ito is mas greater than sign, palaki ng palaki yung other letters or yung other letters. Okay, so the next one. So, kabalik na rin mo. Paliitin naman rin na. It's just control, shift, and uh, less than size para paliitin. Next is control O. So, sa control O, ma-open natin yung document or makakapag-open tayo ng document. So, yan. Just click the control O. Okay. Control W. Which can close the document so hindi ko siya gagawin 
or the Control W, which is to quit the application. So, mga close natin kasi yung slide if I will do the task or I will do the command. So, again, it's Control W and Control W, which is to quit the application and then close the document. So, yung gagawin. So, yun kung may natutunan po kayo sa ating ending shortcut tools, as well as ito ay na. So, don't forget to comment, like, to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed on my channel. And don't forget also to click the notification bell for you to be updated for my new videos. So, for that, thank you so much and have a good day.